Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Ever since getting the Tebow, I have locked myself to TOA until getting Masori. And here's what the KCs are up to now, 126 regular mode and 50 expert mode KCs. At the start of last video, I only had one expert mode KC, so I was really trying to focus on doing experts and especially getting solo expert modes down. And I feel like at this point, I've got the solo 300s pretty alright. I still wipe every once in a while, but for the most part I can do them. And now the only regular TOA KC I get is when me and Spook duo. And the highest invo that we've done together is 230, which is better odds to see a purple than me soloing 300s. Our duos are around 5% chance to see a purple, versus my solos are a bit over 4% chance. So it's like 1 in 20 versus 1 in 23 or 24. This clip is from before me and Spook pushed up the invo more, but it's the only purple I've seen at all since coming back to TOA after getting the Tebow. And it's just funny, I'm at 50 expert KC and haven't seen anything. All the purples just have come from the regular mode TOA. I guess there's the term money 220s for a reason. With that said though, here's the gear loadout I've been going with for my solo 300s. I pre-pot the super strength and super attack the bank and then just add two more brews in. I know, I know, I know, stop. <laughs> These are strictly pre-potting for the BGS at Z-Back. You don't need defense at Z-Back, okay? It'd just be a, a waste of defense potion. Anyways, uh, let's get back into the TOA. First raid of the video, 51 KC. Can I prove today that you can, in fact, get a purple from expert mode? No, you cannot. In the last video, I showed two very important things to learn for TOA which is butterflying at Akka and red Xing at Baba. Both of these kind of seem like necessities to learn because before I knew how to do them, I was getting to Warden with basically no supplies left if I even made it there at all because sometimes I would just run out of supplies during the raid. But after learning how to butterfly and red X, I've got a pretty decent amount of supplies left over usually by the end. And I just wanted to show my progress, how I've improved with those two methods. Since last video, I really only showed myself first learning them, but I didn't really show once I actually had them down. With Akka, I'll usually end up running in a circle once before I start hitting him, just to make sure he's on the right tile on the right tick in the butterfly cycle. And I've kind of started taking less hits, I feel like, that way. Although, unfortunately, I can't butterfly the whole fight because the trident is really low DPS. And when the shadows come out, it's a DPS check to kill them as fast as possible. And the trident just doesn't cut it, so I have to blowpipe them. And almost every time, by the time I kill the shadow, Akka is out of his melee form. Now for red Xing Baba. All I really knew at the start during last video was just how to get into cycle at the start of P1 when you first get in the room. And it's easy to learn because it happens the exact same way every time you enter the room. I just go to the bottom right corner, or technically southwest, but I'm gonna call it bottom right. And P1 was completely free. It was zero damage besides the one hit that you tank right at the start. But the tricky part for me was P2 and P3, because I would try to run to the bottom right corner to get into cycle, but then Baba would throw the rock, or I wouldn't get the right timing to start the cycle, and a bunch of other things, and it was messing me up bad. So, when I was raiding with Putty, he showed me how he would drop a potion on the left side of Baba, and how they guarantee get in cycle, assuming that she was still throwing the boulders. The only thing is that you gotta make it past the boulders as fast as possible to set it up in time, because when you get past the boulders, Baba keeps on throwing them. She only stops when you melee her, or when she's gone through the normal length of the boulder throwing phase. So if you make it up there ASAP, you got a bit of time to set this up. I was also struggling with dodging the falling rocks last video, but I got it down now. It's after like 5-ish hits, Baba will spawn the falling rocks, and I was told there's a chance that the falling rocks could spawn that debris pile on you while you're red Xing, which I assume would mess up the cycle. So if slash when that ever happens, that'll make a great YouTube clip, so that's something to look forward to. And for P3, if you can make it past the boulders again before she finishes throwing them, you're once again guaranteed to be able to get into the red X cycle by using the item you dropped earlier. And once you put all of this together, it makes Baba a zero damage room except for the one hit I tank right at the start. And that's really nice because Baba previously was like a brew chugging simulator for me. The only variable is where the rolling boulders spawn. The cracked one can be up to two boulders away from the previous one, so if they all just somehow happen to be two apart, then maybe that might prevent you from setting up this red X method especially if you have boulder dash on, but really you should always be able to do this.
Sometimes I forget to equip my melee weapon during the skulls, and by the time I realize, I end up stumbling multiple times and I decide to just skull skip, which is fine because I get slightly more points, because when you skull skip, Warden doesn't take the extra 100 damage from you killing the skulls, meaning you get more points because you get to do more damage to Warden yourself. But if you're not running Insanity, it's probably not worth the time to purposely skull skip because it takes extra long for the skulls to explode, and the time spent waiting waiting for them to explode, you're not getting points. Although if you wanted to learn how to school skip for insanity, then I think it would be a good idea to learn without insanity on because you have more time to prepare and think and it's less punishing if you mess up. I made it to Warden and I've still got a pretty decent amount of supplies left. I go into the raid with 5 brews and 6 pure pots and yeah ever since I got the red xing Ababa down I've been having a lot of leftover supplies. 59kc, do purples exist from expert modes? I don't think so. Oh, oh. I am so happy to see a purple. Dude, I don't even care if it's a freaking ring. I'm just, I'm just so, I'm glad to see a purple. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we're going to get first ever expert mode purple. Let's see. I shouldn't have piped up. <laughs> hmm. Well, that is Light Bearer number three. Man, the group Iron Man team is going to be super stoked about that one. Uh... <gasps> Dude. Uh, oh. <laughs> My first time dying at Kefri is right at the end of the fight too, that's so annoying. Uh, I don't know what's going on, I just died twice in a row in these raids. Uh, I'll just keep going. I don't know how, but I still somehow barely managed to make time by 9 seconds. 39.51, so it still counts for an expert mode. Did we get the first back-to-back -back on the series? No, of course not. Uh, that was pretty stressful though. Oh, a thread. As important as Masori is, getting Armadil is pretty much just about as important, and in fact if we get Armadil armor that would then help with TOA because that'd be an upgrade over the Blessed Dehyde. So I had a Hydra Task from Konar, I also had a Hydra Task stored from before, and I really just can't see myself doing Hydra anytime soon. I just really want to grind out TOA and Arma, so I'm going to cancel this task and try to get an Arma Task. Oh, 105 Slayer level. Virtual, 23.6 mil XP. Oh, that's Serb. Oh, I could do Serb. <laughs> of course, when I freaking want to get Arma, I get I get Serb from the, the actual location I can do Serb at from Konar. I'm ready. All right. Potting. Me when I'm planting plants. Actually, with these duos at 2.30, it's more like 1 in 19 to get a purple. Oops. I'm so used to it being fast from the feeling special. There you go. Yeah, I did it. No. <laughs> Oops, I accidentally opened this medium clue. I, I was supposed to be stacking them up, but I didn't get anything anyway, so I'm just going to hurry up. I don't think she'll see me. Okay. Damn, you didn't even get a catch of runes. I need a break from TOA, so I'm gonna go do that Serb task. I have 1760 KC. And I ran the DPS calcs, it turns out with the Tebow, it's less DPS than my melee setup with the Fang. I would need either Missouri or Xeric Dam Braces for that to be better, but if I use the Tebow, it'd be kind of awkward switching to the Spectral because I'd have to bring like a Rune Knife switch and that would be even less DPS. But either way, my melee setup is currently better than my Tebow setup. Oh wow, we got Eternal Crystal, I believe that is number four. 
Oh boy, the group Iron Man team is gonna love that one. It's my last Dorgish Khan sphere. I'm gonna have to make some more. I got Clue Step and Dorgish Khan. Need Molten Glass for that. It'll just make like 500. I haven't done this for a while. We got Old Ak. Wonder where Young Ak is. Okay, let's make spheres to Dorgish Khan. My dude's just like, I have 133,000 law runes. So let's make 500 of the spheres and I will be set for a while. I usually don't tell jokes, right? Believe it or not. I'm, I'm sure you don't believe that, but yeah, it's the truth. I didn't know you were a comedian. I'm, I'm something of a stand-up comedian myself. People pay me to not tell jokes. I'm more of a sit-down comedian. It's more like I make a joke and you guys stand up and walk out. Iron Men start going for uh, CG and they get to like 50kc and then they change their username to uh, something along the lines of dry for enhanced or no enhanced never lucky cg iron no enhanced just remember your gaslight relationship advice that's right if you think you're being gaslighted then just remember gaslighting is not real there's the end of the serb task the only unique i got was that eternal crystal but at least now i can go back to af king slayer with my afk time to try and get that Arma task. 1897 KC. I didn't have this unlocked already, so I'm glad I uh, I checked this before I kept on going. Birds of a Feather will extend ABNC tasks. So I get between 200 and 250 from Konar. People always say Wyvern, but they never ask Halvern. It was Spook Dog's birthday, so we actually left the house for once and we went to this park and had a picnic. There's a few ponds, which is pretty rare to find in the desert, you know? So it was a nice change of pace. Okay, one more picture. Okay. That's not a picture. <laughs> okay, they pull up. Gang, 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 gang. <laughs> Look at this loser at the back of the line. Yeah, you fucking loser. <laughs> well, yesterday was fun, and that was just part one of her birthday. It's a new day now, but today is part two because she also wants to spend the day playing Minecraft, but we were busy yesterday, so today she's gonna be uh, streaming Minecraft on her Twitch channel, and we're gonna be playing together. And while we're doing that, I'm going to spend all day woodcutting redwoods. And we'll keep track of the woodcutting XP I gain. I'm five minutes away from getting six hour log, so I'm just gonna not talk to these frogs. Oh, I just got a virtual woodcutting level. 103, yay. And now I'm getting close to another six hour log today. As funny, you played Minecraft for, I guess it was like 12 hours. Good morning. It seems that we now have a new goal on the group Iron Man to complete. My AFK time has come to an end. In total, I gained 735k woodcutting XP, but now it is time to go back to TOA. It's been like, I think three days since I've done a single raid, so it'll be nice to go back. And in that same amount of woodcutting XP, I gained 108k fire making XP. No, they changed the spirit trees. I was doing the clues I had in the bank. I was trying to go to Prif, and I just kept pressing six on the keyboard and I kept getting this thing and I was like, why can't I teleport? They add the new quest, that's the thing I was talking about before. I guess there's a new thing with the quest, but they added it in the middle of the list, so now everything else is pushed down instead of adding that to the end of the list. As someone that enjoys a game that requires hundreds of hours of repetitive actions, I'm slightly offended and upset that they're changing something that I'm used to. 71 KC expert mode and we get a red gem, the second red gem. That's my first time getting a dupe gem. And with these gems, you will never get dupes until you have one of each. Not that it matters for me anymore, but yeah. Ow. Oh no. Oh, Wait, does no. it count? Does it count? Um. Oh no. I love Leviathan actually. It's probably the most engaging boss well i think thermi is pretty engaging <laughs> it drops those dragonstone rings uh, uh i mean uh, and specifically the desert treasure 2 bosses i just met like engagement ring oh my oh my god <laughs>
Oh, not the puns again. We started skull skipping for the first two sets of skulls just to get a little bit more points for the raid. But after the first two sets, that's when Baba starts throwing the boulders and it gets a bit more complicated. So we only skipped the first two sets. Also doing insanity in teams has been nice to help me get used to it because I think the thing that would be toughest for me in a solo would be remembering where Warden left off in the attack cycle. And this way Putty calls out the proper side to me and the more we raid, the more comfortable I get, and the more and more I pay attention to where Warden left off. Remember, you got time to change your prayer for real. So back second attack, and then spam click. So don't even start spam clicking until after the second attack? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, I think that was middle again. So there's one. Here's two, spam click. After this, I realized I should run to the left side, since that way it'd be easier to see Zubak's attack style. There is a way, and I haven't figured out the timing for it yet, but you can run out of the boulder, tick perfectly, into the roar attack. The roar hits every two ticks, and you can run out from the boulder and just like <laughs> tick walk back and forth. It's pretty funny to see. I know this is a random cut, but this IRO clip is important to set up context for what's next. So I got this air fryer for Kara's birthday. Kind of in a similar vein how she got me a cutting board. No, I, I, I like the cutting board a lot. Um, I'm sure we're both gonna get a lot of use out of this, but this is our first time making stuff in the air fryer. We just tested a little bit of broccoli and first batch of tofu. A cutting board. I like she probably <laughs> uses it more than I do. So it's one of those like, you give it to her because you just want her to make you air fry food. <laughs> That's like the new fad. I don't know when that came in, but everybody's just like air fry everything. Yeah, I keep hearing good things about it. So in 10 years, we'll see those commercials where it's like, did you purchase an air fryer between the years 2013 and 2025? If you have, you're entitled for compensation with the law office firms of <laughs> ah, I'm sure it's fine. My body's already like 60% microplastics as it is. Oh yeah. Yeah, ain't no going back now. They sense fear. We're so in sync. Yeah, we're like a 2000s boy band. <laughs> <laughs> I went back to doing Slayer and I got a Kraken task, which I just finished, and I'm up to 4276 KC. No way, bro. I just woke up and I was looking at the news post. They always add this bug fixes and feedback section for things that they change after the news post comes out. And right here, the new spirit tree has impacted players' muscle memory prior to the update. And it looks like for the next update, they're going to put the new spirit tree at the end of the list. I, I can't believe they're doing that. Actually, I can't believe, I can very strongly believe that, actually. No way. I was going to upkeep my kingdom, just keep the favor up like I do every few days, and I got this message. I thought it was just the 100% message, but no, it says the storerooms are full. So I, I need to collect at this point because they're not going to be gathering anymore. So let's, let's go do that. I definitely want 10 workers on herbs, but then the other five workers... I think I want to do it on coal. I mean, really, the worthwhile options seem probably not maples. Either teak, mahogany, or coal. And I know you get the bird's nests if you go with the hardwood trees, but I don't think I'll be struggling with bird's nests or eggs anytime soon. So yeah, I'll just put the rest of the workers on mining. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that the last time I checked Kingdom was right before I maxed, which was January of 2023. So it's been like eight or nine months, I would guess is how long it took me to fill up the storeroom. So let's go ahead and collect resources. <laughs> 62k coal, and then 930 ranars. Oh yeah, you get seeds too. A little bit of gems from mining. Aw, oh, dude, that's so sick. I wanna, I wanna check the bank for something real quick. So I have this thing up, my banked herb lore XP, and before I collected my banked herb XP, excluding a few of these potions slash herbs. It was 5.4 mil. So I'm going to open up the bank and then refresh. Now six point, almost 6.6 .6 mil. So I banked from that. I banked more than 1.1 mil herbal XP. Oh, I didn't realize how much coal I had already. Well, now my stack of coal is up to 230k. 
Well, it's good because like you need a lot of, even with Blast Furnace, you still go through a lot of coal to make these other bars. Let's do a price check on my coal stack. Let's see, that is 48.8 mil. And so it is time that we complete the final quest on the group Iron Man to get the quest cape and trim the diary cape. All right, let's do it and begin the end of the beginning of the middle part of the intro to the middle of the end. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> well, they added you in game. Or, yeah. Where? The You'll evil see. creature? Yeah. I'm a fricked up evil creature. Wait, 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 do you see they have Google Maps? But it's Dougal Maps. What? They have Google Maps, and they got Google Maps and DoorDash in this game. My guy needs some head bad. Quest number 158. That's exactly 300 quest points. Oh, I should have brought the quest cape. Oh, oh, we got XP lamps. Oh, okay. They're just already designated skills. Cool. I'm gonna go grab the quest cape, and then I'll meet you back here. Here? Yeah. Okay. Iconic. <laughs> That's where we finished the final quest and got the quest yeah. cape on the group Iron Man accounts. I don't think I ever did this quest back in 2007 or back in RuneScape 2 slash EOC. I was just like a freaking noob. I don't know if I really understood quests back then. I don't think I did it either. This originally came out in September of 2007, so it was just a few weeks after the OSRS backup was taken from, so it just barely didn't make the cutoff point. According to Ash, it was like halfway completed, or they had a bun they had like half the assets completed for the quest from uh, that 2007, the August 07 backup. Wait, go one tile west of me so I can... Okay, now you can go back. Back to here? Yeah. Or no, facing the other way though. Yeah, perfect. But yeah, I'm gonna retrim the diary cape. And now, the goal that we have set out for from the very start. You can equip the quest cape. The quest cape has finally been achieved. And do the emote. Three, two, one, go. On the group Iron Man.